Hey creative minds, here's my old used wooden cutting board that needs to be discarded. But why diffuse if you can reuse? So let's get to work again. The board measures 10.5 into 17 inches. Draw a broad margin of 2 inches on either sides. Further draw the same broad margin on bottom and top as well. Use a saw to cut them off. Now fix the upper and lower pieces using heavy glue. Keep the side pieces marked and cut them as per need. Fix them as well. Polish the tray with the sandpaper. And dust it off with a towel. Color it using any acrylic paint. The dried acrylic gives a matte finish, so to give it a shine, I'm going to varnish it. Let it dry. Here it is ready for the next step. You will need mild adhesive gamat paper and designer punches. Here's my choice, that's the little hearts. Fix them as per your wish. Fix the same gamat paper on the inner side too. Paint with the contrast acrylic again all over the inside of the tray. Use 1 inch broad brush for second layer. Finally, sponge paint it to erase the strokes of the brush. Let it dry completely. Remove the side paper. Now to ease my task, I have placed a wet face towel on the base to moisten the paper flowers stuck. After an hour, just scrub and wipe off the towel to remove those hearts pasted. Varnish again over the golden base to glam it up.
Here's the final step of fixing the handles. Mark, drill hole and do the needful. I feel so good while using this handcrafted tray and I'm sure you would love to do such carpentry too. So buckle up and get your tools ready for more such creative hacks. Also keep in touch with me by not just subscribing to Zabe's Art Beat but also to my sister channel that's Zabe's Food Art where you will get to learn creative cooking art. I shall soon be back with my 100th video at Zabe's Art Beat so join Zabe and team in the celebration. Till then, keep crafting. Bye-bye.